Imagine a country with a paradox of being Africa's top oil producer, yet still reliant on imported fuel. That's Nigeria's unique puzzle, sitting on top of vast oil reserves but grappling with fuel scarcity. These very contradictions sparked the birth of an extraordinary project, the Dangote Oil Refinery. Far from ordinary, this venture stands as a symbol of hope and a transformative force ushering in a new era in the African narrative of progress and resilience. It is not just another refinery, it is the world's largest of its kind, a single train marvel spearheading an industrial revolution and signaling economic self-reliance for Nigeria and Africa as a whole. As we dive into the story, we will explore the many layers of this grand venture, from its early days of just being an idea, through the tough financial and logistical hurdles, to its massive impact on both Nigeria and the wider African economy. Stay tuned as we begin. Our story begins with one man, Aliko Dangote, a name that has become synonymous to business acumen and transformative entrepreneurship in Africa. Born into a wealthy business family in Nigeria, Dangote's journey wasn't just about inheriting a legacy, it was about creating a new one, a journey that led him to become Africa's wealthiest individual, but more importantly, a visionary determined to redefine the economic landscape of his homeland. Dangote's business ventures started small, but his aspirations were out of this world. From trading in commodities to venturing into manufacturing, each step was a building block towards a grander vision. A vision that was not about personal wealth, but about lifting the entire continent towards prosperity. In a country where oil is the lifeblood of the economy, Dangote saw both an opportunity and a paradox. Nigeria, rich in oil reserves, was grappling with a crippling dependency on imported refined oil products. This anomaly wasn't just an economic issue, it was a matter of national pride and sovereignty. Dangote asked a pivotal question. Why couldn't Africa's largest oil producer refine its own oil? In 2013, the answer to the question began to take shape. He announced his most ambitious project yet, building the world's largest single train refinery. It was a bold, audacious plan, but for Dangote, it was more than just a business venture. It was a mission to end Nigeria's fall in port dependency, create thousands of jobs and ignite industrial growth. The Dangote oil refinery was envisioned as a state-of-the-art facility capable of processing 650,000 barrels of crude oil per day. But beyond its technical specifications, it was mounted to become a symbol of African capability, a beacon of hope that would challenge the narrative of Africa as the continent dependent on external aid and imports. Dangote's vision extended beyond the refinery. He saw this project as a catalyst for a broader economic transformation. By creating a supply chain that would benefit small and medium-sized enterprises and fostering an environment conducive to industrial growth, the refinery was to be the cornerstone of a new self-sufficient Africa. The blueprint was developed and the optimists and the pessimists were on the watch. It was time for the richest black man in the world to back his words with financial power and innovation. This brings us to the genesis. The genesis of Dangote Oil Refinery is a tale of vision meeting opportunity. It was a journey that began long before the first foundation stone was laid 
in the mind of a man who dared to dream big for his continent. In September 2013, Aliko Dangote took the first step towards turning his vision into reality. He announced the ambitious plan of building the world's largest single train refinery. This announcement was not just a statement of intent, it was a bold declaration of confidence in Africa's potential. The chosen location for this monumental project was Lekki Free Trade Zone in Lagos, Nigeria. A strategic choice reflecting not just logistical considerations but also a vision to transform and uplift the surrounding region. Lekki, with its proximity to deep water ports and potential for economic growth, was the perfect canvas for Dangote's masterpiece. Securing financing for a project of this magnitude was a colossal task. Dangote's initial plan involved an investment of about $9 billion, a figure that underscored the scale and ambition of the project. The Dangote Group would invest $3 billion, with the remaining amount raised through commercial loans. This financial blueprint was not just a plan for building a refinery, it was a vote of confidence in the African economy. The refinery's design and construction posed unique challenges. It required a blend of cutting-edge technology, innovative engineering, and meticulous planning. Each aspect of the refinery, from its distillation columns to its pipeline infrastructure, was designed to be world-class, rivaling and surpassing global standards. For Dangote, this refinery was more than just an industrial project, it was a means to an end, the end being Africa's economic liberation. By refining crude oil locally, the project aimed to add value within the continent, reduce reliance on imports, and keep the wealth generated from Africa's natural resources within its borders. The Dangote oil refinery represents a beacon of hope for the people of Nigeria. It promised to address some of the most pressing challenges facing the nation, from unemployment and poverty to the paradox of oil wealth amidst world scarcity. Despite being founded by the world's wealthiest black man, the Dangote oil refinery still faced its share of challenges during its early phase. Every great endeavor faces a share of trials, and Dangote oil refinery was no exception. The journey from a groundbreaking vision to a concrete reality was strewn with a myriad of challenges each demanding resilience, innovation, and unwavering determination. The initial timeline for the refinery's completion faced setbacks. What was first planned for a completion in 2016 saw its inauguration pushed back. These delays were not mere hiccups, they were a reflection of the project's enormous complexity and the ambitious scale of its undertaking. Financing the refinery was another herculean task, as costs escalated beyond initial estimates. Dangote Group had secured additional funds. In July 2022, a significant loan was obtained to keep the dream alive. This move was proof to Dangote's commitment to the project in the face of daunting financial challenges. The construction of the refinery also presented logistical marvels and engineering feats. Building the world's largest single train refinery required not just financial investment but also intellectual and innovative problem solving. From the installation of the colossal crude distillation columns to laying of the extensive pipeline infrastructure, each step was a dance of precision engineering and logistical expertise. But challenges were not just technical or financial, they were also about human capital. The refinery needed skilled workforce capable of handling sophisticated technology and complex industrial processes. This led to extensive training and development programs, empowering local workers and creating a skilled labor force in tune with Dangote's vision of promoting local talent. External factors too played their role. 
fluctuations in global oil markets, local environmental conditions, and the immense task of coordinating an international supply chain added layer of complexity to the project. Yet, with each challenge, the team adapted, learned, and moved forward. In the face of these complex challenges, the spirit of the project never waned. Under Dangote's leadership, each obstacle was met with a renewed vigor and an unwavering belief in the project's ultimate success. It was this resilience that kept the dream alive, turning obstacles into stepping stones towards the enormous achievement. With these challenges tackled with greater expertise, let's look at the company's economic impact on the people and the nation at large. The Dangote oil refinery is more than an engineering feat. It is a catalyst for economic transformation. As we explore its impact, we see not just a refinery, but the powerhouse of economic rejuvenation, sending ripple of prosperity across Nigeria and the entire African continent. The refinery's ability to process 650,000 barrels of crude oil daily symbolizes a major shift in Nigeria's economic narrative. From a nation importing refined oil products, despite being a major crude oil producer, to a self-sufficient entity, the refinery turns a page in Nigeria's economic story. Experts predict a substantial reduction in Nigeria's crude oil deficit, as the refinery will meet majority of the nation's domestic fuel demands and create a supply for export. This shift is not just about numbers, it's about economic security stability and independence. Employment generation is another significant impact. With the creation of about 135,000 permanent jobs, the refinery becomes one of the largest employers in the region. These jobs span various skill levels, offering opportunities for local communities and contributing to a reduction in unemployment and poverty. The ripple effect of the refinery extends to local businesses and entrepreneurs. The demand for service and products to support the refinery's operation has led to the growth of local industries, from logistics to catering, from technology to construction. This symbiotic relationship fosters a thriving business ecosystem, stimulating economic growth beyond the refinery's walls. Moreover, the refinery's presence has sparked an innovation wave, inspiring a new generation of African entrepreneurs and startups. It stands as an evidence to what African capital and talent can achieve, encouraging a culture of innovation and technological advancement. Infrastructure development is another key benefit. The refinery has necessitated upgrades in roads, ports, and utility leading to improved transportation networks and utilities for surrounding communities. These improvements have a direct impact on the quality of life and economic potential of the region. Education and skill development have also been at the forefront of the refinery's impact. Through extensive training programs and partnership with educational institutions, the refinery is not just employing people, it's equipping them with skills and knowledge fostering a skilled workforce for the future. The Dangote refinery's economic impact is profound, redefining Nigeria's position in the global economy and setting a precedent for African-led industrial growth. The refinery, a marvel of modern engineering and technology, is a symbol of what Africa can achieve on a world stage. It stands as a disproof to the narrative of African dependency, showcasing the continent's potential for self-sufficiency, innovation, and industrial prowess. Historians and economists agree that Dangote refinery will later alter economic treachery of Nigeria and Africa. By reducing reliance on imported refined oil products, it will not only safeguard economic stability, but also position Nigeria as a pivotal player in the global economic industry.
but the true legacy of the Dangote refinery lies in its impact on the everyday life of the people. From creating job opportunities to stimulating local economies, from fostering innovation to inspiring new generation of African entrepreneurs, the refinery's legacy is written in the lives it has transformed. This legacy also extends to environmental stewardship. The refinery's commitment to sustainable practices and energy efficiency sets a new standard for industrial projects, aligning economic growth with environmental consciousness. As Aliko Dangote reflects on this journey, his vision for Africa's future remains clear and steadfast. A future where African nations are not just participants in the global economy but are leaders and innovators. A future where the next generation of Africans inherit a continent rhyming with opportunities and potentials. The Dangote oil refinery stands as a legacy cemented in the annals of African history. A legacy that goes beyond refining crude oil, one that has redefined the narrative of African industrialization and economic empowerment. This is more than a story of a refinery. It is a story of Africa reimagining its destiny, a story of dreams realized, and a story of a continent rising. Thank you for making it to the end of this video. This has been Bernard and you've been watching African Dream Motivation. Kindly subscribe for more.